Hi, in this video, we are going to first update to WordPress 6.1. That is the latest, the third biggest uh, update of WordPress in this year, 2022. But this is named after Misha. He was a pianist. He used to, he was a big musician, by the way. Let's click please update now once you are in your dashboard. It will allow you to confirm that you would like to update to the, to the latest version. Now the site will start updating. After you have clicked, it automatically downloads. You can go manually to download the updates. For that, please watch what does the up uh, this update includes. This update includes the first of uh, the first thing that it in includes is the main security features, the new security features enhancements, uh, what's new, and along with security, <coughs> excuse me, along with security, we have new. 10 style distinct variation and there is a new theme named 2023 so those of you who have been using wordpress previously you would know that wordpress is using default themes 2018 2019 2020 22 23 now 23 came the best thing a better creator experience with refi refine and additional templates you can create templates previously we used to have elementor or beaver or dv these different uh, template editors to do that now wordpress is bringing all that experience built in within WordPress core modules. You can use the controls. <coughs> you can create new menus. It is. It has got more easier. That looks fun. You can use more typography, more or less. So let's explore what is new. Let's go to themes and we have 2023 theme. Currently, if we go now along with that, you will discover that we have few more updates like the there are other updates as well that should be updated for themes and for plugins to be compatible with WordPress 6.1. While this updates, you will be having more blocks. This is our previous uh, template we put in. This three out of three should be done. Now let's go to update the themes. These updates are required or necessary, you can say, for the security of your website. Because this old theme or old plugin might be using something, some scripting that will not be compatible with 6.1 and that will give access to your website's uh, backend somehow. So to be careful, to be on the safe side, you have to update everything you are using. For example, if you go to appearance, I'm using only one default theme and one active theme. Now this new theme came, so I will prefer to go there and delete the 2022 theme. That is all what I need. I need one extra theme just for the security of the website in case the main theme stops work, working or crashes, there is a default theme that will take care of it. Let's activate the default theme. 
and see how the page looks like now. Not that bad, still it gives us the layout. Yeah. So now you can go to customize or you can use starter temp templates again. What did we use previously? I think it was restaurant something. Let's search here, food. I think it was this food restaurant, but it is premium. We should be using the free templates. For now. Oh, it requires unlock. Will not be using that. Let's use this one. So it will take some time. Let's explore the other areas. So while making posts, you can uh, click add new post. So now the blocks, there are no blocks set. You have new patterns as well. You can use default patterns. For example, you want to use something like this. Uh, pricing table, it might be. It has been doubled. So just control Z, we'll do that undo. So you can use, these are featured. Let's use, different galleries let's insert that block page no it's not a page post and you can publish you can view or you can even use template kits to import new templates from one of these pages or you can edit this in element
So this is how the page looks like now after it has been imported. Yes, it has been. So just refresh. Nothing. So let's go back to home page. So this is how it came. You can go to your card, your account, or all products. Choose a product, add it to the cart. So that is how easy it is to create the page or with using a template. So you can use elements or you can use global. So let's use elements from basic, general, <laughs> or the WordPress. You can even use all the WordPress blocks within the Elementor uh, template or page. Simply drag them where you want them, apply changes, and it will show all the details required. You can see now how it appears.